Hey gang! <clears throat> oh, pardon me. Welcome to another edition of Doc's Holiday Schlock, where it's a review of the movie Night of the Demons from 2009. Well, apparently Angela, not Baker, is throwing herself one heck of a Halloween party. And it turns out she's having to throw it because if she doesn't make enough money, she's going to be homeless. And where she's at is at a place where apparently a previous party happened well around a hundred years ago and nobody got out of there without making some kind of a donation to a, to a charity. So, so Maddie arrives at the party and she notices that her ex... Colin is dealing drugs, so as you would expect, the police show up, bust up the party, and everybody runs off, but Angela is the only one left in the house, and so, so some of her friends decide to come back, including Maddie, and Colin, and Dex, and Jason, and Suzanne, and Angela decides to tell everybody the story of what happened inside of the house. In which, um, in which a in which a woman named Evangeline uh, was throwing a party and everything went wrong and demons were involved and all this other stuff and Evangeline decided to hang around for a little bit longer if you get my drift so they discover some skeletons Angela gets uh, bitten by one of them and of course as we all know she becomes the demon Angela. And so demon Angela winds up pretty much possessing the entire little party after a little bit of a spin the bottle session kind of goes a little bit wrong. And of course the only one to survive to try and fight off all the monsters and demons is Maddie. And Maddie pretty much figures out that she may have to to try and stop them is survive the night until day comes along. And she also decides to try and do the same thing that Evangeline did. Only this time around, she put, she wound up surviving it because she put the rope around her waist. The sun comes up, the demons go down, and Maddie winds up walking out of the house, and a couple of guys show up to, I guess, clean up the mess. And well, it kind of ends on a on a slightly happier note, I suppose. The movie stars Shannon Elizabeth, Edward Furlong, and it has a cameo by one of the original actors in the movie, in the original movie, Linnea Quigley. So why did this movie suck? Personally, I think that uh, the movie tried to rely on a little bit too much on stars whose, whose uh, power shined brightly a long time ago. Uh, Edward Furlong, since he did Terminator 2, has not really done too many hit movies. He did, he did Pet Cemetery 2, which bombed. He did uh, Detroit Rock City, which I read bombed. <laughs> uh, he never... He, and this was pretty much just like, oh, it's another movie to put on DVD for him, and that was pretty much it. Uh, Shannon Elizabeth, who... One of her first movies was a low-budget horror movie called Jack Frost, which... I immensely enjoy that movie, uh, <laughs> uh, but but this one it, it just seemed like after American Pie and American Pie Two is like she just couldn't get a hit, and and to kind of do this is a little bit surprising because honestly, I mean she had you know, yeah she's I think she's done a few horror movies here and there but but really to 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 play the part of Angela in this one. Eh, she couldn't pull it off. Another problem with this movie is is that it really tried to rely a little bit too much on, well, this and that, but also uh, really bad gore. I mean, some of it looked okay, but ultimately overall it was like, meh. I mean, Angela in the first one looked scary and frightening. In this one, it's like they gave Angela, I don't know, a... Uh, Tentacles? Horns? Something. And it just didn't look as scary. 
A lot of people loved the original. Some are mixed on the second one. A lot of people hated the third one. Me, personally, I enjoyed all three of the originals. But this one, I just really just couldn't get into. It's it's another one of those horror movies that I see the trailer for it and I'm thinking, this is going to be awesome. And it turns out, just like Patrick Evil Awakens, the trailer was good, the movie was pretty awful. But there you guys have it, a review of Night of the Demons 2009. And if you've seen it, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below about what you think about it. Uh, whether you agree or disagree. And of course, if you like my videos, always feel free to subscribe. If you got a horror, sci-fi horror, comedy horror, or fantasy horror movie, that was one heck of a bad movie. <laughs> Send it my way, and I will get on it ASAP. Thank you guys so very, very much for watching. And until next time, as always, stay strong and rock on.